Okay, hello there people, it is me Night Simmer and I am finally back. Apologies for my little hiatus, I got a new job, I got a hamster. I had all of my end of, of 2021 assessments for my uni thing. Um, hopefully the audio is alright on this, I did record a whole series and the audio I was unhearable so I had to delete it so that will never see the light of day this is a different game though this is frog detective the haunted island um I don't know much about it I actually don't know anything about it I got it in a bundle from the jingle jam for donating to that um thought it might be a fun thing to just make an easy way back on a video um it is boxing day it is like the middle of the day I've been trying to do this all day so let's get into it, shall we? Okay. Use the mouse to look around and then walk. Is this ours? Oh, phone. He Hello. Hello, who is it? It's the supervisor. Hello, supervisor. Hey, how's life? Yeah, pretty good, I reckon. How are things with you? Me and the wife just got back from Indonesia. Ah, oh, well. Selamat datang Bali. I don't know. That means welcome back, I think. Thanks. Anyway, what are you calling about? Oh, right. I have a case for you. Cool. It's a pretty spooky one, so hold on tight. I'm holding on. There's a little sloth who owns an island just off the bay. Martin's his name. Says he's been hearing a ghost for about two weeks. So, get this. He hires a team of ghost scientists. What's a ghost scientist? I don't know. Anyway, he hires some of them, right? And they can't find anything. They've been on the island for two weeks. Whoa. The ghost is still at large. So the head scientist there, a monkey, calls me up. They need help and they want the greatest investigator I have. So I said to them, I'll send my best investigator. But Lobster Cop wasn't available. So I'm asking you, the second best investigator. I fully understand Lobster Cop's abilities far outweigh my own. Yeah, but you're pretty good. So, are you up for it? I don't know, sounds very scary. I'll have to be very brave. I believe in you, detective. That's just what I needed to hear. Thank you, supervisor. I'll do it. Woohoo! Can you give me a summary of the case before I go? Sure thing. The basics are, as a sloth who is hearing a lot of spooky ghost noises around his island, he calls a bunch of ghost scientists, but they're stumped. It's up to you to solve the mystery of the haunted island. Why did you yell the haunted island like that? because that's the title of this case. Fair enough. It's time for you to grab your magnifying glass and get going. See you later, supervisor. Good luck. Thanks. I probably could have done two different voices there, but you know what? Um, in this moment of time, not happening. Let's grab my magnifying glass. Ah oh, yes, my trusty magnifying glass. Can't solve mysteries without it. Now I can right click to see things up close. Okay, brilliant. Got your magnifying glass. Right, do I leave now? Yes. Off we go. Oh, hello. Time to solve a mystery. Loading. Grace Bruxner presents. Frog Detective Adventure. Programming by Thomas Bowker. Sound tracking by Dan Golding. This art style is making me giggle, I won't lie. There's the island. It certainly looks spooky with all the lightning. Starring the detective. Larry. Mo 
Hello, the mouse mouse. <laughs> Bernie. Fresh X. And the rest. Okay, this is going to be funny. Case one, the haunted island. Oh, dearie me. That got a good actual giggle out of me. Loading again. Okay, there's the monkey whose name I've already forgotten. Notes, hmm. Maybe a man in a suit. Hello. Ah, you finally made it. Thanks for coming on such short notice. I've heard so much about your adventures. I'm a huge fan. Wow, that's very kind of you. When you figured out who has been behind her forest theft in Witchdown, I couldn't believe it. I thought nobody would ever solve that mystery. I mean, who steals an entire forest? Oh, you've been following my blog posts? Yes, I'm Mystery Monkey 49 I comment all the time. I even made a funny joke once and you responded. Of course, I remember. Hi, Mystery Monkey 49 Please, Mystery Monkey 49 is my online name. You can just call me Mystery Monkey. Oh, okay, nice. Of course. Can I ask you some questions about this case? Questions? Yes. What would you like to know? Where to start? Who should I talk to first? You talk to me already? Okay. Who should I talk to second? Hmm. Larry, the tall red one. He always wants to meet new people. Although, I think mostly he wants new people to meet him. Not so much the other way around. I'll check it out. Thanks. What would you like to know? The resident. May I ask who the resident of the island is? Ah, oh, that'd be Martin. You can find him hiding in the forest. He thinks the ghost can't catch him there. Hmm, very interesting. I'll investigate. What would you like to know? Um, nothing right now, mate. I'm gonna go find Larry. I think I'll come back after some investigation. See you around. Oh, hello. That was very close to my face, my dude. Oh, there's Larry. Oh, what? Bud, you okay? Hi. Howdy. What are you doing in there? Swimming. There's a storm. Yeah, it's not raining yet. Besides, it's not actually that unsafe to swim in storms. Everyone keeps telling me to get out of the sea. But it's safer in here than it is up there. Why is that? No ghosts in the water. Ghosts can't swim. How do you know? Martin said. You don't look that happy in there. I guess I'm not. Sorry to hear that. Thanks. May I ask why you're so sad? Well, it's kind of silly. I really want a magnet. Oh, okay, remember that one then. I told you it's silly. Why do you want a magnet? Well, go on. My dream is to attach a magnet to a boat and hold on. Oh, why? Boats are fast. I'm not fast. If I hold on to the magnet, I'll be really fast too. Nice. Right? I don't have any idea where to find one though. And even if I did, there's no way I'm getting out of here. Not until the ghost is found. That's interesting. Is there anything you need to know? The magnet. Why did you want that magnet again? So I can attach to the back of the boat and zoom along, obviously. Oh, right. Oh, hello. If it sweetens the deal, I can give you this big shell in return. Oh. Thought it might be magnetic, but it's not. Why would you think a shell was magnetic? How was I supposed to know? What am I, a scientist? I... Okay. Is there anything you need to know? The ghost. What can you tell me about the ghost? Well, not much, I guess. I heard noises coming from the holes around the island. It freaked me out so badly that I grabbed my floaty and got in it. 
How long have you been in the water for? Hmm, maybe two weeks. Whoa, are your feet wrinkly? Ooh, I don't know. You should check. Maybe later. Is there anything you need to know? Not right now, bud. Not right now. Nothing at the moment, but I'll come back. Sure thing. Can't pick it up. A lobster. What's, you? What's this? A little friend. Oh, some pasta. Yum, but it's not mine. I don't care. I'm guessing it's this guy's. I meant to talk to the lobster though. Hi, it's me, Larry. I did not do it. Huh? The noises are not coming from me. I didn't... I, Larry, did not make these spooky noises. That's, like, more suspicious somehow? What? Are you even listening? I said I didn't make the noises. No, I heard. I just... I don't like being accused like this. I'm not accusing... Oh, you're not? That's such a relief. Can I? Are you going to ask me questions? Yes, ask me them. The questions, I mean. The noises? What can you tell me about the noise? Firstly, I am not the one making them. Yep. But I know where they're coming from. What? They're coming from the cave in the forest. Why haven't you told anyone? Nobody listens to me. They say stuff like... Well, Larry, if you won't listen to us, we won't listen to you. Which is so weird, because I do listen. Maybe they may... And I'm a really great listener. So how do we get in the cave? Well, I need a few things. To get through there, you'll need some sort of explosive device. Is that safe? We're dealing with ghosts here, Detective. None of this is safe. Anyway, I'll need a few things. I looked up an explosive recipe in one of the old chemistry books. I need toothpaste, some wool, a chunk of pure gold, and some pasta. Well, we know where the pasta is. Oh, so the normal explosive ingredients then. Just the standard explosive recipe. Yes, if you want to get into that cave, bring me those ingredients. I'll do my best. Ask me them, the questions I mean. Explosion? Let's make some dynamite. Not yet, detective. We still need toothpaste, some wool, a chunk of pure gold, and some pasta. Thanks. Ask me them the questions I mean. Ingredients? You're going to give me a clue where to get them. Can you list the ingredients for the toothpaste, some wool, a chunk of pure gold, and some pasta? Thanks. Ask me them the questions I mean. No thanks, mate. I am off. I'm out of here. I'm out. Larry, you are a strange one. Just look at him. He's so odd. I'll let him be, though. I'll let him live his best life. Right, you have my pasta. Who's you? I feel like I need to give them different voices. Hey. You're that detective, right? The one that monkey keeps going on about. That's me. I'm so glad they finally brought someone else in. I knew nothing. I really shouldn't have taken this job. Why did you take it? I'll be honest, I thought it was a secret agent job. Why would you think that? The job listing said ghost scientist. That didn't seem like a real job to me. I thought it was like a cover, you know? One that only smart people could figure out, like me. It still could be a cover. Maybe they're testing you. Oh no, you're right. I better look competent. I'm only joking. Sure. Can I ask you some questions about the case? What else do you want to know? About this hole. What do you know about the noise coming from this hole? 
I mean, I'm not great at this job. I'd be good at other jobs. I'm just letting you know, but it does sound like the noises coming from this hole aren't a natural creature. They seem otherworldly somehow. They have a weird and distinct tone. Sometimes it sounds like a bird's call, but only sometimes. Wow, that is a lot of good information. Thanks. Yes, I'm very good at that, finding things out, if you know what I mean. No, I don't. Bernie, I'm not a secret agent. Uh-huh. What else do you want to know? Secret agent. You mentioned you... Oh, that's my voice. You mentioned you want to be a secret agent. Why? Uh, secret agents get the best stuff. Like... For example, you've got a cool magnifying glass. I want one of those. I'm not a secret agent. Sure you're not. Bernie winks. Even if I can't be a secret agent, the things I'd give up for a magnifying glass, there's nothing I want more. Interesting. What else do you want to know? I want your pasta, mate, but... I have a feeling I'm going to have to give you my magnifying glass for it. Yum. But it's not mine. No, I need it though. I need it. It's quite important, you know. There was someone around here. A bug. Squidge. Nope. Okay. Hello. Let's talk to you. Oh! Hello! Howdy. Hello. <gasps> Are you the, uh... Yep. Great. You brought my toothpaste shipment. Huh? Uh, no. I'm the detective. Oh, okay. Can I call you D-Tech? Yes. <laughs> nice. Some questions, is that okay? Take it away, D Tech. Your smile. <laughs> Are we flirting with him? I hope you don't mind me saying, but you have wonderful teeth. Thank you. So glad find someone finally noticed. How'd you keep them so pearly white? With the doctor tight bugger with the doctor tight smiles 101 tooth whitening cold paste for teeth of course that was a oh it's made me say it again doctor tight smiles 101 tooth whitening cold paste for teeth i get a shipment here every three days i go through the stuff so quickly i'm down to my last tube whoa where can i get you some of my own wait where can i get some of my own oh i'm losing it i'm losing it do do you have teeth um, well I could give you my tube, but I would need something else to keep my mouth fresh. I'll think about it. Can I ask you some more questions? Take it away, D-Tech. Your clothes, we need to ask. Why aren't you wearing a lab coat like the other scientists? It's my day off. I've been working so hard for the last two weeks, it's very important to take a break and get some sun. You're right. Uh, not about the sun, about taking the day off. Yeah, I didn't pick a great day for it. Sorry to question you on your day off. Take it away, D-Tech. Okay. I'll come back later with some questions. See ya, D-Tech. I like him. He's a good one. Right, I've spoke to you. Ooh, what's this? By me, who took my sunglasses? Give back. Remember, do not split up. We're searching for ghosts like in Scooby-Doo. I love Scooby-Doo. Fun fact. No, some hole noises need some tomatoes for soup. Who is ghosts? I'm not qualified. Oh, a magnet! This might come in handy. I've got a magnet. Now I can trade him. Science line, don't go in. Okay then. Should I talk to you before I go give him the magnet? Noodle. Hey. How's it hanging? Uh, fine I guess. Bored mostly. Bored? That's suspicious. Suspicious? Why? 
Surely you can't say I'm suspicious, just say I'm suspicious. There's no rule against it. I'm not being suspicious at all. I guess not. Sorry for calling you suspicious. That's okay. Why are you bored? Isn't hunting ghosts supposed to be exciting? For the first week, sure. Not now, though. I've been at this post the entire time. I'm shedding everywhere. Gross. I know. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Ask away. Your wool. Your wool. I need your wool. Why are you shedding so much? I haven't had a trim in ages. It's so yuck. Split ends everywhere. I'm usually getting cut once a week, but it's two weeks now. Yuck. It's so gross. It's totally fine. Thanks for trying to spare my feelings. But there's wool everywhere. I think everyone is grossed out by it. Oh, surely that's not true. Eh, uh, maybe not. But it feels true in my heart. I think most people like wool. It's used for so much stuff. Like what? My jumper's made out of wool. Haha, <laughs> are you for real? Yeah. That's weird. It's weird that you're wearing my hair. Wool is pretty gross, that's why I keep mine short. I don't think wool is gross at all. Okay, but what if I wore a coat made of your slime? What? Ew. Gross, right? Sure, but... Slime is kind of gross anyway. And I'm saying that as someone who is very slimy, wool is worn by most people. This is the first time I've heard of someone wearing wool. I think that makes you the weird one. Plus, I'm pretty sure the shirt you're wearing is wool. What? I'm wearing another sheep's hair! I'm pretty sure, yeah. Gross! I'm happy to take your wool away from you if you'd like. I mean, your own wool, not your shirt. Oh, yes please, but you'll need something to clean it up with. Like a broom, or like... Fire? Cool, okay. I probably won't use fire. Okay. Can't believe I'm wearing wool. What if it's Barney's? Mind if I ask more questions? Ask away. This hole. What can you tell me about this hole? I hate this hole. Why? It never does anything. It's a hole. I'm a ghost scientist. I want to see ghosts. Not holes. Maybe the ghost is in the hole. Have you looked? I've looked. No ghosts in there. It's a pretty deep hole, but it gets smaller as you go down. So maybe there's ghosts further down. Do you hear any ghost noises coming from the hole? Sometimes. But not as many as Bernie and Larry's hole. Now that's a noisy hole. I wish I could hang out there. Who's stopping you? The boss. Who's the boss? I... Don't know. Maybe Mystery Monkey? Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. Mind if I ask some more questions? Ask away. I'm done though, mate, so... See you later, Noodle. No questions right now. Thanks. Right, let's go give him this magnet and get that shell, though I don't know what I want it for. Always with the questioning. Is there anything you need to know? The magnet. I brought you a magnet. What? Like, a real one? Are you for real? Yeah. It's a dream come true. Thank you so much. No problem. In return, I'll give you this big shell. I don't need it anyway. Great, thanks. Wow, a real magnet. I got a shell. Right, off we go then. They said you're in charge, but I don't really want to talk to you right now. How many more people do we have? A broom. Ooh, a broom. Got a broom. Right. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go get... <laughs> okay, I love this. I love this so much. I'm going to go get your wool. With the broom. I may not have all the answers, but go ahead. Ask away. Broom. <laughs> That's it, broom. Hey, I got that broom. Ready to clean? Yes, amazing. Thanks, detective. Can I keep this broom? Absolutely. Can I keep your wool? It's still weird. But yeah, knock yourself out. What? I mean, like, take all the wool you want? 
not physically knock yourself out. Phew. And I got the ball. Okay, so I feel like that might be a good place to end this first part. I'm definitely going to continue, but I don't want it to get too long. So I think this is going to be a good place to end it. If you have enjoyed, feel free to comment anything that you have enjoyed. My top 10 is definitely my top 10. One of my top items is definitely going to be this guy. Um, in fact, this is going to be the outro screen now. Um, but yeah, let me know your thought of it. If you've enjoyed it, leave a like. Um, if you've enjoyed my channel, feel free to subscribe. I do sometimes do Sims videos every now and then when I um, actually record. No, I'm kidding. I do do Sims videos. I've just had a break. But I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!